Hello everybody, welcome back to Idle Heroes. We are about to do something very, very stupid. Yes, me, Big Hoss, we're doing something stupid. When have we ever done that? Before we get into the video, thank you guys so much. Um, just this morning, as of, as of recording this, this video, we have jumped past 800 subscribers. We jumped like 20 in a day. W what? You guys must really want the want those giveaway accounts. By the way, link will be in the description and up there in the corner um, to the video that we are giving away two accounts. Go check them out. Follow the instructions in the video because if I say it here, you're going to do it here. I know you all. You will do it. But thank you guys so much for doing that. I do. I, I do. Uh, I do appreciate all of you. And if you do want to win the giveaway, make sure you make sure you subscribe and go check out that video. Comment what I tell you to comment on that video and you can win an account or or two you can get lucky I'll give them both to you if you want them other than that I think I've talked long enough now let's go be stupid so we are here in the void <clears throat> our realms gate just opened up we just got 11,000 cores of transcendence crystals of transcendence rather forgive me um this morning like i said in my, in my bait account bait army account video um yesterday we we i i was tired last night and i went to bed this is the, still the same day as the other video it's just more videos per day or more videos spread out i'm smart so i woke up this morning and I realize, oh, we can still do still do some stuff. Um, let's do this because this shouldn't take us all the way. Forgive me, I'm getting sidetracked. There, set it and forget it. Boom, boom. Okay, so I woke up this morning and I did my dailies, you know, all that stuff. Did the everything else. Came over here, bought my core, went over to the fate, and I got me a sphere of transcendence. You know what that means, right? You, you you can either get stellar shards, or you can get crystals of transcendence. I had four million seven hundred and forty-four thousand crystals of transcendence. Do you know what that means? My dumbass went and got five million. We're making a void hero today. Are you hyped? Cause I am. I have been wanting to do this for a while now. I even, listen to this, the stupid gets worse. I had two five star chests. I had the luxury from when you could buy, from when Morax came out, you could buy Morax in in that chest. And then we had, had a five star imps chest from imps last week. I used both those chests for queen, came over here, spent all my relics that I could spend and got queen there. We built an E1 queen. Didn't I say we were doing some, doing some stupid stuff? But it's worth it because queen will never die. Let's be honest. Never die as in like she's still new enough that she won't be irrelevant. Let's make us avoid queen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into the family. Sword Flash, Shia. I thought it would be more nice than that. Welcome to the family once again, Sword Flash Shia. This is new to me. We now have Sword Flash Shia. We are now officially living, living, living up to our title of Void Whale. That's what I'm talking about. But we're gonna hide it from our guildmates. Can you can you keep a secret? Don't tell nobody. So we have we have a sword flesh Shia now. This will take some time to get used to. So as far as I know, you can do these right off the cuff. And we have quite a few of these. So we can go ahead and make her V1 minus the 10 star. So we can go ahead and do all these. <coughs> And I'm considering 
breaking down my V3 Russell when we get this Void Shia maxed to E5, max level as well. Because as of right now, I don't think she replaces Russell even with the Splendid Demon Bell. I just don't think she does. Plus, she's level 100. I, this is spur of the moment, if you couldn't tell. Uh, armor, armor break, precision, block, control immunity, arcane, skill damage, holy damage, crit damage, crit, damage reduction. I think we'll do damage reduction. Because you can switch them out whenever, I think. Yeah, you can swap them out. That's right. You just can't pick that one. Okay, so we now, by all by all technicalities, have a V1 Shia. In fact, let's make a nine. Let's make a ten star to make it official. Because we got food for days. We have an we have an e, we have an E5 Mirage in the bag for whatever reason, as well as we have food here in Edgar. Ooh, E6 Edgar, eat your heart out. E5 Dragon Slayer, eat your heart out. But I think we'll just do. We need to. Let's do faceless. Let's do some faceless action. So doo -doo 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 -doo, we are gonna make an v V1 um, faceless. Where you is? There you is. Okay. So let's just feed. There we go. Feed off some of these. Fail, I suppose. Now we need two more. No, three more. Because we have nine star puppets. So let's just make some fails. Why not? Fails are mm, expendable. Uh, Melissa. She could be a potential nine star in, in the future. So let's just feed off some more. Oh, you can't go six star. Let's just feed off some more of these boys. I am personally excited. I don't look it because I'm still trying to wake up. <laughs> but I am very excited to have a transcended hero in my ranks now. I am ecstatic because I'm the first person on the, on the server to get one. Which is nice. Um, that's, that would be two. So now we make a Zekus. That is a five star. This Zekus. And we will use some old gray eyed to make him six star okay now now we just take our newly formed you take you up here I'm so glad it didn't break and we had to click every single time that I hated that in that video I completely hated that in the bait army video for one the controls were flip-flopped like I would move the hmm, get out of the way too much max. I would move the mouse this way, and the the screen would go the other direction. It was it was horrible. But it seems to be working now. I only have one instance of blue stacks running at the moment. I'm liking that. So it's running a lot better. Oh, now it chugs. Okay, now it's now it slows down. Talk about it, and then it slows down. That's my luck. Okay, it speed up a bit. Okay. That's not bad. As, as long as, as long as it works, I can hold my finger down and, and just talk, which is what I'm the best at—just talking. <clears throat> I don't know if I would be proud of that one, but I am. Okay. Six star faceless is now fully maxed. Let's make. Do 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 do. Let's make us a ten star food here. Not to mention, we will have a third 10 star for V4 when we downgrade Russ. So pretty much, as we're building up this Shia, we will be collecting Stellar Shards from our daily core summons, which we probably can't afford. And we will be putting all the Stellar Shards that we will get into Shia, trying to minimize and get her to V4 as soon as possible. Uh, I need two. We can spare two Edgar and still have close to a 10 star. Well, 10 and, 10 and a 9 star, actually. So I can live with that. 
and then two faceless, a six star and a nine star puppy. Puppy. And we can come over here and V1 officially. Miss Queen Shia. I said Shia. Oh, wrong button. Do, 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 do. Why are you not locked? I need to lock you. I mean, I don't really need Heart Watcher, but it's fun to have. Armor. Let's do crit next. Of course, her being an assassin, crit should help her out quite a bit, I think. She should have some have some crit already. She has she has some crit. Wait a second. Oh, she's void. These are all going to be the same, yeah. Yeah, let's do crit, I think. I, th I, th I think crit will be the best choice. Oh. Uh, skill damage. Holy damage. Let's do holy damage, I think. And let's build up her HP at this point because why not? Nope, that's where we stop. So we got V1, but it wouldn't be a true video without at least testing her out. So she's looking, she's looking all right. She's got some damage reduction, she's got some holy damage. For the fun of it, let's take off. all this put it on her wham bam come here uh, you you for some reason have the worst gear setup I've ever seen in my life so take that away from you head over here give her all six star gear she has that beautiful a and B splendid she's looking schnazzy oh 76,000 I didn't think about that. She doesn't have a stone. Okay, let's go do some testing. And to be fair, I'll fight someone on my friends list who could potentially bait me. Which is... Where is he? S Builder. SB. There he is. He went and got this boy. He's doing some good stuffs. But I think we can take him even with being down a Russ. So Demon Bell Russ, and then slide away back here, put in Sword Flash Shia. So we have three, you know, two assassins as well as the two Rogans. So we should be doing some pretty good stuff here. This should be fun to watch. I have never personally on video tested Sword Flash Shia. I've just used her, but I've not tested her. Thank you for loading today correctly. We are going slow because well, his forces doesn't last long at all, does it? Does Shia ever get to do anything? Oh, you didn't kill her. Yeah, it looks like it, it looks like all the all, all the E5s are gonna do the major work here. <clears throat> Although swapping for 16 million, he is definitely void one at least. I mean, Quia is still around, which is good. His Sherlock doing doing the swaps is is, is what keep is what's keeping him alive. But Queen Shia rather uh, for an E1 to keep up with a Demon Bell Russell. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. But the real test, the real test is against Capota, my guild leader, who has gotten even stronger somehow. Let's see what this does for us. I might even consider taking out a Rogan to put I I Ignis behind her. Hmm. I don't know. 
Let's just see what it does though. I mean, we still have him on Guild Tech, I think. This should be fun. Because as of right now, no one knows I have Sword Flash Shia. I don't have to put the, I don't have to put this video up. No one would ever know. I think we'll lose this. I think more times than not, we will lose this fight. I personally do. Just because his team is so well built, he knows what he's he knows what he's doing. I ha I'll give him credit. He he knows what he's doing. Let's see, down goes Shia because of his AMB, his DB Russell. He knows what he's doing. The question is, can the rest of them keep up? And the answer to that question is no. No, they cannot. Unless we get stupid lucky with some dodges, which we won't. He's he's gonna win this. Of course, she is only E1, V1. She's not looking all that hot right now. And I don't think if she was V3 right now, it wouldn't help us that much. That's what I personally believe. I don't think she would do much for us right now as she stands. That Rogan just holding on there, isn't he? Yeah, that that's what I thought. She is not lasting long enough. And luckily, hello, what? Had we we had never made a faceless before? Well, now we have. I gotta see this though. Show the frame. That does look good. But I I gotta hide it for the time being. I, I have to hide it. No one can know. Yet. No one can know yet. Mm -mm. Don't let it slip. If only we had two splendid demon, two splendid AMBs, that would be amazing. But luckily, our monthly is reset here very soon, so we will have a nice burst of building for Shia. So for right now, everything we get is going into Shia, because no other heroes need gold put, need gold or spirit put into them. I don't use any other, any any other than these six right here that that are 350. So as soon as we can get her, so the, the sooner we can get her to E5, the better. E5, max level, all that good stuff. Let's get you back out. It's going to feel weird to have this hero and just not use her. That's going to feel the weirdest. Uh, let's give you back your speed enables, because why not? I feel like having you a bit more tanky these days is better with all the attack of the lowest HP and all that. There we go. Nice and tanky, boy. Still 300,000 attack, so that's good. Your your active need, needs to go up. Something fierce. But V3 is nice. V4 doing 2,000% of your attack. Good night. Could you imagine a V4 rust? <coughs> Nasty. But that brings us to the end of the video. We made a V1 E1 Shia because we're stupid. So thank you guys so much for watching. We are going to end this off with fighting Capota one last time, asserting our dominance because why not? He has no counter for, for Rogans because we're getting quite a bit out of this. Oh, and they both got the bloodthirsty. Ooh, nasty. But thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate everything you guys have been doing. Again, we we crossed and be, went beyond 800 subscribers overnight, pretty much. I don't know what caused you all to do it besides the giveaway. Bribes work so well. But other than that, I just I love you all. You know. But. Until the next time, I will see. I, I screwed it up. I got I got talking off script and I lost track. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.